opening up my own understanding of what might be going on out there because basically I have this stuff happen on the mountain and a few other strange things um, mind speak and those sorts of things and then I'm like you did okay, get mind you know speak. something else is going on here you yeah, did get mind speak that, but, oh no absolutely come on <laughs> well there's a, there's another um, there's another episode um, Smoky Mountain Tennessee episode okay and um, I'm. If you watch that episode, you'll you'll watch me walking out of the um, the forest at night, and um, and I'm feeling very you know very survivor man kind of cocky and like yeah you know I got this down no problem, and um, and I'm walking along and and I and I, and I say oh I say to the camera, I say oh I got I got that feeling on the back of my neck. Well you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to shrink from this. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's see where the boogeyman is. Come come and get me. So I do that. I absolutely stop, and uh, and I wait, and you, you know, sort of see me a bit on camera, and and, and I'm like, okay, well the feeling's gone now. Nothing happened. Might as well keep walking out. And so I, you know, in a way, I'm pointing out to the audience, and I'm saying, look at you know, I don't shrink from these things. Let's 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 face these things head on, because that's the only way to get the truth, get the answers. Mm-hmm. Well, what also happened was. I was instantly stopped and hit in my head with basically, uh, yeah, I don't know I, I, what you want to call it. I mean, I'm hesitating, obviously. You can tell I'm being shy about it and hesitating, but it was a voice. You know, I, I heard something just instantly, really strong. And, and I mean, it was so strong that afterwards, I, when I went home, I went and talked to a few people and, and a few and I said, look, I want to know. I'm like, nothing with like schizophrenia here. Like, what's this? I, I heard something that I've never experienced before in my life. And basically what I heard was, we're right over here. We're two hills away from you. If you want to see us, stay. Wow. Did you listen? And I, I literally said, I, I answered. I answered in my brain. But I answered. I, I, I said, you know what? I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. No, I'm going to keep going. And then I, and then I, you know, I said, you know what? And and I literally thought, uh, I am not ready for this. This is this is because you got to think at this point, I'm filming films about what I think is maybe Gigantopithecus, a hominid species with some, you know, a cool ability to be stealthy and hide from us in the forests of North America, you know, around the world. That's what I think I'm filming. And then I come out and different, and this this stuff is happening before I meet Dave. Well, not before I meet David Politis, but before people are telling me about all these other attributes. This stuff that happens happened on its own, without that influence, without the power of suggestion. Then I start interviewing more people, and all these you know identical stories start popping up, and I'm like, uh oh. And that's when I'm like, ah, crap! I'm down the rabbit hole now. 